everyone, it's Darla from Crafty Yarn Owl. Welcome. So I just wanted to share something with you. I made this market bag the other day and I put up a tutorial. I think it was on Saturday. I put the tutorial up and uh, I have some yarn in here. I have five skeins of yarn in here. <laughs> just kind of to show you the size of the bag. Okay, so I used a Karen uh, painterly cake. Yeah. So anyway, I'll, I'll link that tutorial if you haven't seen it and you'd like to make one of these bags. I love it. I love it. Okay, so first of all, um, a lot of times I will make a prototype first. Just to see if it's going to work out and um, and then it's also faster to do the tutorial because I've already learned all the steps I've taken and how to do the stitch and everything. So it makes doing the tutorial easier and a little bit faster. This is the prototype. I just wanted to show this to you. And I just used yarn that I had kicking around uh, partial balls. So this was my first one. It has the flat bottom. There's, the only thing I changed when I did the tutorial um, was like on here, I just used the one color for the handles. But in the tutorial, I used, you know, three three of the colors that are in here. There's a dark pink, a lighter pink, there's a dark yellow, a lighter yellow, a cream. And I guess that's it. But I used three out of, out of those colors and I put them in the handles. Yeah, that's the only thing I did different. So this yarn here is, I believe it's paint box yarn, and I had a ball that was maybe the size of my hand. And uh, so, hmm, I had some left, maybe half of the ball left. It's around here somewhere. And for this other, this is actually a light um, lilac color, and this was creme cotton or cotton creme whatever it's called by I think it's Karen so I just had some of that left to partial partial ball so yeah so if you have leftover yarn you can make a bag yeah so the paint box is um, I guess it's 100% cotton it's a four weight this one might be a four weight as well yeah, so there's that one. And then that was the prototype. And then I made another one. Because <laughs> I had some more yarn uh, left over from something else. Um, actually, this is the Bernat. Um, let me get the label. Bernat Handicrafter Cotton. It's 100% cotton. And so I had a ball of this. Like people use this to make um, dish cloths, uh, dish towels, uh, bags. <laughs> so I had a, this is what I had left from a ball that was maybe that big. Yeah. Oh, and this colorway. And this is a four weight. Colorway is a garden party. Yeah, so purples, pinks. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Okay, so I used that. Before I show you the bag, I'll just show you the yarn that I used. Um, then I had, it was kind of a toss up between that one and this one. This is, I believe, the same yarn the Bernat Handicrafter, but I don't know what shade it is, but it's browns and whites. And yeah, so I decided on the pink one. Okay, who knows? <laughs> I might make another bag. <laughs> oh my, that was an itsy bitsy spider on my shoulder. Good thing I'm not scared of spiders. <laughs> All right, so the other one, the other one I used is this Premier Chameleon. Do you remember when these came out? They're a, uh, they, the yarn changes color in the sunlight. Yeah. 
and it actually does work. But I've had this kicking around for a while. So is it, does it still hold its power for a long time? We're gonna find out. But first, they came out with, I think it was uh, six different colors. Okay, what's this one say? Okay, they didn't come in a cake like, cake like this. It just came in the little skeins. Uh, white to pink multi. And I believe it's white to pink. White to purple multi. And white to purple. White to yellow multi. And white to ye uh, yellow. <laughs> six right two pinks two purples and two yellows yeah I believe that's the colors that they had I did not get any of the yellow I would have liked you but the price was so much at that time it was $9.99 here in Canada so yeah but, but I did a haul on it um, maybe I'll find the video I don't know if you're interested are you maybe I'll find the video and link it below or up here um, so anyway these are three weight and they are um, they are 100% cotton so I had just, I'm going to show you the bag <laughs> soon. I just, you know, I had some left over, so I just caked them all up together. So I don't even know it. Like I know there's pink and purple in here. Maybe the pink multi, is that what they called it? Yeah, there'll be pink multi since I have the label. I must have it in here. So it could be pinks and purples mixed up in here because I got both those colors. So I don't even know. I mean, it looks white, right? <laughs> so here's the bag. I did not sew my ends in, but I really love how the bag turned out. There it is. And then I put the, you know, the, the white around the pink and purple yarn for the handles. And uh, yeah, I love how it turned out in these colors. I mean, white looks amazing with these colors. What do you think? Okay. Um, so, oh, and I used five millimeter hook for each of these bags, five millimeter hook for that one and this one. And then for the actual tutorial, that's something else I changed actually. 4.5 millimeter hook I used because I wanted it tighter and, and like more sturdy, but it still stretches kind of. So, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, let's go outside in the sun. We have beautiful sun shine today in Winnipeg. Let's do this, let's see. Let's see what it does out in the sun. See if it still is holding its power. I took this first picture inside. This next picture, it was out in the sun for 10 seconds. And there it was out in the sun for about 10 minutes. There's a close up. I think it loses its power over time. Thank <laughs> you.